Good morning everyone. Welcome to today's edition of The Bottom Line. Here are the top headlines. The US will not lift travel restrictions citing Delta variant, says White House. Karnataka Tourism introduces bus to ferry visitors to Nandi Hills. 28% Indians plan to travel in August-September, risk of third COVID-19 wave set to rise, says survey. BMC to start heritage walk in Mumbai's Grant Road area. Air India announces new flights connecting Indian cities with Malay Maldives. In-flight caterer sats eyes 200 crore rupees solo project. The United States served notice Monday that it will keep existing COVID-19 travel restrictions on international travel in place for now due to concerns about the surging infection rate because of the Delta variant. Jen Psaki, White House Press Secretary, said the restrictions would continue for now. Driven by the Delta variant, cases are rising here at home, particularly among those who are unvaccinated and appears likely to continue in the weeks ahead. The Karnataka Tourism Department has decided to roll out a range of initiatives to facilitate tourism, like introducing two private buses to ferry visitors. According to officials, the Tourism Department is planning to create an application through which 50% of the parking slots can be booked online. The other half will be reserved for on-the-spot booking. With as many as 28% Indians planning to travel in August-September, which is also the time for some of the major festivals in the country, the risk of the third wave of the pandemic is set to rise, according to a survey. In a statement, online platform Local Circles said, 5% said they have plans and have booked the tickets along with stays while 23% said they have a plan to travel during these two months but have not booked tickets and they and they stay yet. 9% said they are undecided. That's all we have for you in today's edition of The Bottom Line. Stay tuned for more such travel industry updates. Have a great day.